Marius here with the Resuscitation Coach. On this channel, we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. On today's video, we'll continue our series of ACLS Made Easy. We'll be reviewing the American Heart Association's cardiac arrest algorithm, specifically the non-shockable component of the arrest algorithm. We'll be reviewing asystole and pulseless electrical activity. As always, we'll start off with our initial oppression. If it appears that the victim is unresponsive, immediately start with your Bialis assessment. Tap and shout, hey, 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 are you okay? Check breathing, check pulse, five to 10 seconds. If there's no pulse and there's no breathing, immediately start high quality CPR and activate your code blue. If you're in the hospital and if you're out of the hospital, Call your local emergency number. The moment our crash card arrives, immediately connect the pads or if you're using ECG leads because we want to hunt for VF or pulseless VTAC. This time, what do we see on monitor? We see this, asystole. So with asystole, continue high quality CPR. What should we do at this point? We have to actually make sure that this is an asystole. Do a flatline protocol. Check your leads, check your pads. Make sure they're connected properly. Make sure your defibrillator is set up appropriately and continue focusing on your high quality CPR. Also consider IV access or your interosseous. Think about your first medication in asystole and PEA, which we know will be epinephrine. So start getting those things ready. And again, focus is on quality of your CPR. Once your epinephrine is ready, immediately give one milligram of epinephrine, for, uh, followed by a 20 more flush. And you can repeat this every three to five minutes. In asystole and PEA, the quicker we can give the epinephrine, the better the outcome for the patient. So give it as early as possible. We should also start thinking about an advanced airway. And if we use an advanced airway, please do not forget about your waveform capnography. Again, with the waveform capnography, it helps you to make sure that the tube is in the correct position, but it also helps you to monitor the quality of your CPR. We'll continue CPR for the two minute period. At the two minutes period, we'll stop, we'll switch, we'll analyze the rhythm. Again, we're looking for VF or pulses VTAC, because remember we're hunting for the VF and pulses VTAC. Then we see it's asystole. We resume our high quality CPR, pushing hard, pushing fast, no delay in our quality of our CPR, but we should also consider our reversible causes, our H's and T's. And I believe in making it easier for yourself to remember. I think about a head to toe approach. If I'm thinking about the head, if I'm ventilating well, I'm having good chest rise with ventilation, oxygen is connected, I'm thinking of ruling out and starting to work on hypoxia and acidosis. If I can feel a strong pulse with my compressions, I can think about tamponade, tension, pulmonary embolism. These are all part of obstructive shock. If I cannot feel a pulse with high quality chest compression, I need to dig deeper. Move down to the abdomen, check the temperature. Is my temperature normal? Is the patient cold or is my patient warm? Move to the arm. Let's draw bloods. We want to draw bloods for hyper and hypokalemia. We want to think about hyper and hypoglycemia. We want to think about toxins. We want to think about cardiac enzymes. And last but not least, I can give some fluids, specifically if there's a history of bleeding, of trauma, to rule out my hypovolemia. Again, as all of this is happening, good quality CPR is ongoing. At this moment, it's close to my three minute marker after giving my 
first dose of epinephrine so I should consider preparing further medications and my next medication will be epinephrine and it's one milligram and as earlier we can repeat this dose every three to five minutes if you benefited from this video please consider subscribing hit that like button and smash that notification bell your support is appreciated we'll see you in the next video have an awesome day bye bye